the Nick Walker with Derek Lunsford's midsection video, check description, did not hit 777 likes to unlock the second option of the poll. But I'm letting this one slide this time and today I'll be doing the Nick Walker New York Pro 2024 versus Derek Lansford Mr. Olympia 2023 comparison for you guys. Just remember that this is the last time I'm doing this so if you want to see the third option of the poll Hadi Chupan with Nick Walker's arms. Let's make sure we get this video to 777 jackpot likes. I'm trying to figure out this system for my videos to be more fan interactive. Comment down below video suggestions for our next poll that I'll be releasing next week. I'll make sure to include the most popular requests. So Derek Lansford with his Mr. Olympia 2023 winning physique against Nick Walker with his recent New York Pro winning physique in a superset man traditional video footage analytical comparison. I already went through all the poses and this is the closest comparison I have ever made on this channel. 6 out of the 8 mandatories are Sutter wins for one or the other that could go either way basically. So I'm going to start with the remaining 2 poses that are more obvious. First is the most muscular. This is Nick's pose all day. Not even his biggest haters could claim otherwise here. Before anything of course Nick's footage is of better quality. But what you see here is the best you can get. You should already know I'm always doing my homework. Back to the pose, not only that Nick has superior arms and shoulders, he also has the better chest, the better lower body, the superior overall muscularity plus superior conditioning at least from the front. In Derek's defense he looks more than decent next to Nick so this is the only reason this is not actually a decisive 3 point win but only a standard 2 point win for the mutant. The other pose that's not a subtle win despite being closer than the most muscular is the back double biceps. In my opinion here Derek is the clear winner. His back is wider, denser, more detailed than Nick's and even though Nick wins the wheels overall Derek beats him at the glute department which is one of the main muscle groups of the lower body so this is a standard 2 point win for Derek. The remaining 6 poses are all very close, at least in my opinion, so let's start from the beginning with the front double biceps. You probably can't get a more contrasting situation than this, where one's weakest attributes are the other's strongest. Derek has the craziest V taper of all time, while Nick has arguably the worst proportions for any top Olympian ever. Furthermore Derek has modest biceps and overall arm development while Nick has some of the most complete arms of all time with crazy peaky biceps and round detailed muscles everywhere. Same for the lower body even though Derek's quads are bigger proportionally to his overall physique Nick's quads are way more detailed and separated. Now every fanbase will point out the obvious suspicions on the other's physique like Derek's lat dance or Nick Walker's slightly bloated stomach. I admit that me personally I prefer Nick in this pose. I value more overall muscles and completeness over aesthetics. But I really think Nick lost a bit of too much control of the waist this time because I know he can do better. Check description for the video where I compare this recent version of his to his previous best showings. So back to the pose I really think the overall fan consensus and also the judges would give this one to Derek and because I do agree that Nick can do better with the midsection I will give the one point to Derek in this comparison but if you ask me to choose between this Derek and Nick from the 2022 Olympia or 2023 Arnold I would say Nick. The front lat spread is the notorious weakest pose by Nick and it's pretty obvious he's going to lose. However this will only be a subtle 1 point loss for him because despite of the midsection I really think that overall he did improve this pose and I also believe Derek is very weak in this pose as well. His chest is disappearing in this pose and it's very distracting and aside from the midsection and overall width he's losing anything else in this pose. But those two details he's winning are pretty crucial in this pose so 1 point for the 2023 Meister Olympia. Next, 
is the side chest pose and normally you would think this is a clear win for Nick. But standing side by side like this, it becomes pretty clear for me that is not. He has the rounder and more complete guns and he is more detailed upper body overall. But Derek looks pretty good as well despite the lack of details upper body. However, he compensates with a crazy detailed side leg a la Big Rami. So overall this becomes only a 1 point win for Nick. We've already seen the back double biceps and watching this again further convinces me that Derek is the clear winner and now let's proceed to the other back pose, the back lat spread. This one is really close and it could really go either way. Based on the other back pose, we've established already that Derek has the superior back, however, this other back pose is a weaker one for him, where he's not as dominant against his opposition. And Nick Walker, who's also known for having a good back, improved the back lat spread pose at his recent showing in New York. Overall, I do think Derek gets the win. His back is wider and more detailed, but Nick really pushes him here. The side triceps is another subtle win for Nick Walker this time. I'm pretty sure most Nick fans would think this is at least a standard 2 point win for the mutant because he's got more muscularity, better arms and triceps and superior conditioning from the side at least upper body. But what I'm seeing here with them side by side is a Derek Lunsford who really pushes Nick in this pose. He's got the superior overall flow, a decent triceps and the better side leg again. Overall, one point win for Nick. The abs and thighs is our last pose today and probably the toughest call I have to make. We all know Nick has the better abs and the better thighs than Derek usually. And I say usually because at the recent New York Pro, Nick's abs didn't look as good as before. They were less detailed and his midsection was slightly bloated as mentioned earlier. Now, if we had Arnold Classic 2023 Nick Walker, this would have been a 2 point win for him for sure. However, here in our case today, this is only a 1 point win for Nick and even this 1 point could be too much arguably. So what does this make of our comparison? For the first time in the history of the Super Setman analytical comparison, we have a perfect draw where the opponents score the same amount of points, with points being more important as we're trying to emphasize who dominantly someone wins a pose, not only if it's a win or lose. But in this comparison, we also have a perfect draw with the amount of one poses, which was the criteria if they drew with points. This leaves me with only one option. I have to decide which physique had a more lasting impression on me. I have to be honest, you know, I'm a Nick Walker fan and usually I would go with him. But like I said, I don't think this New York Pro version of his was his best because of the midsection and by how I saw judges judging this thing and by Taylor Mannion's show recaps on Instagram, I'm sure this would be a comparison that Derek would win. And I think I can agree with that for this version of Nick, but if you ask me between Nick's best ever, which was his 2022 Olympia, I think he would destroy Derek. Just like he destroyed him at the actual 2022 Olympia, but placed behind him.